The Oregon Ducks volleyball team's getting the season going by helping victims of the Maui wildfires. Noah Chast explains how you can help in today's sports report. Noah? Yeah, Lee, the Ducks are hosting the Portland State for an exhibition match tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Admission's free, but the team is asking fans to bring in supplies to benefit those impacted by the Maui wildfires. Supplies include hygiene and toiletry needs, drawstring or reusable bags, cleaning wipes, non-perishable food items or snacks, pillows, blankets, and kids' items, such as small toys and coloring books. Senior middle blocker Carson Bacon, who has family in Hawaii, touched on how important this help can be. There are people that you know, um, you know, out and around and just like, especially from a community standpoint here, we have a lot of student athletes. We have a lot of students, faculty, and just members of our own community that it can affect. And if you're able to help, like that's something that we should do. And we're in a really good position now. The team starts the regular season with the tournament at the University of Hawaii and will bring the donations with them on their trip. The Ducks are ranked number nine in the AVCA preseason top 25 poll. An Oregon Duck was spotted on a New York City billboard again. This one features a photo of quarterback Bo Nix with the headline, Bodacious. Oregon did something similar 22 years ago for then quarterback Joey Harrington. The school paid $250,000 to put up a 10-story billboard promoting Harrington as a Heisman Trophy candidate. Nix is currently in a four-way tie for seventh best odds to win this year's Heisman. This weekend is the start of the Wild Horse Ladies Golf Classic at the Wild Horse Resort and Casino in Pendleton. More than 100 elite athletes are competing for a chance to join the LPGA Tour next season. Golfers with a connection to Oregon State University include Ellie Slama and Olivia Benzin. Three players have a connection to the University of Oregon. Alexis Fangatamata recall. Heather Lynn and Kathleen Scavo, plus golfer Brittany Yaga attended Portland State University. The Bend Endurance Academy is hosting free climbing team tryouts at its brand new facility. Athletes will have a chance to explore the new walls, engage with the team's coaching staff, and connect with fellow team members. The 90-minute practice sessions allow prospective members to gain insight to the academy's coaching methods and the team dynamics. Tryouts for the development and competition teams are 10.30 to noon on August 22nd, 25th, 26th, and 29th. You can sign up online. Noah Chast, News Channel 21.